This is Minnie, the not so many husky. Typically, female huskies weigh in around 35 to 50 pounds, but this girl is a whopping 70 pounds of fluff. She's blowing her coat, so I'm expecting to get out a massive amount of undercoat, and my groomer senses are predicting a shed storm in my very near future. She braces herself for her least favorite part of her spa day, the dreaded nail clipping. She's a big girl and she knows it, so she could put up a fight, she could throw a tantrum, but she chooses to be classy and not sassy because not only does she have beauty, but she also has the brains to go with it and she knows the best thing to do is remain calm so it'll be over faster. She has a ton of loose undercoat just waiting to come out. So I use my Kenchi slicker brush before her bath to brush it out. The more hair I get out now and in the tub, the less hair I'll have blowing around when I dry her. After only a few swipes with my brush, it's completely full of undercoat. I want her face to be as bright and white as possible, so I'm using my face first facial scrub to give her a blueberry facial. There's a lot of speculation about how often a husky should be bathed. So here's my opinion as a groomer and as a husky owner myself. You should bathe your husky as little as possible. This in no way means neglecting your dog's grooming or health. If your husky is smelly or dirty, definitely bathe them. But it's better for their coats and skin to not be bathed frequently. Bathing them too frequently can and will damage their coats and strip it of its natural oils. Huskies do a lot of self-cleaning. They actually groom themselves like cats do. So again, unless they are dirty or smelly, they don't need to be bathed. They do, however, need to be brushed very often. I try and aim for at least once a week. Double the coat equals double the fun and double the water. I was not prepared for this massive shake, so it looks like Minnie isn't the only one getting bathed. Thank you, Minnie, for the complimentary shower and fluff balls. I feel very refreshed. After we are done getting bathed, I soak up as much water as I can by towel drying her. I dry her in the tub so she's not dripping wet when I move her to my table, and then once she's on my table, I dry her some more. Now that she's damp and not soaking wet, I spray her down with the stuff for dogs to condition her coat. To be sure that it reaches the root, I brush it through with my slicker brush. Next, I dry her with my high velocity dryer. And just as I suspected, we have a shed storm brewing. What is a shed storm, you may ask? Well, here, let me show you. This, my friends, is a shed storm. I call it that because it looks like it snowed in my grooming van. But instead of snow, we have hair. Lots and lots of hair. When I say the hair gets everywhere, I literally mean everywhere, including on me. Oh well, a little dog hair never hurt anyone. No shed storm would be complete without a furball fight. This mess is going to be fun to clean. Now that she's dry and the storm has passed, I brush her again with my slicker brush and get out a few more fur balls. When grooming a double coated dog, it's always best to go over them with some sort of undercoat rake. I'm using the Aronco undercoat remover but I noticed it wasn't really getting anything out, so I decided to switch over to Old Faithful, my Aronco Micro Shedder. Not every dish shedding rake works on every coat, so it's nice to have a variety so that you can find the one that's most effective. I check my work by going over her with a metal tooth comb. It glides through with no resistance, which means a job well done. I want her to look her very best, so I do some last minute tidying up and trim out her paw pads, and then trim around her feet. I finish her groom by giving her a few spritzes of my blueberry pie cologne. 
She's done and is looking slim and trim after losing all that extra floof. And no, I'm not calling her fat. She's not fat. She's just a little husky. Hey everyone! I hope you guys all enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. I just wanted to take a minute and get on here and announce what this month's monthly giveaway is. This month I'm giving away a Kinchy Slicker Brush. This is the same exact kind of brush that you saw me using throughout this video. Kinchy is an amazing brand and they make amazing luxury products. So if you would like a chance to win this brush, you must be subscribed to my channel and to enter the giveaway, just simply comment down below what your favorite part of my video was and where you're located. If you don't get picked for this giveaway, please don't be disappointed. I have a few more giveaways coming up. I will hopefully be hitting 1 million followers on TikTok, fingers crossed, very soon. And when that happens, I will be doing another giveaway and giving away a bunch of stuff. And then as always, next month, I'll be doing another monthly giveaway. If you're not already following me on TikTok and you would like to, my link is down below. Thank you all so much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.